So let's see how we can use quick picks to really enhance scenarios. I'm going to use a very basic scenario called Adult Shock, which is part of the ALSI kit. And I'm going to enhance it by adding more quick picks to it, such as the parameter changing quick picks, more sounds, images, and videos. So if we look at the quick pick column here, you can see I've only got just a couple of quick picks. But there's two buttons at the top. There's a plus and there's the arrows button. Let's tap on the plus button. And you can see a little pop-up menu appears, and there's a number of options here. There's quick pick templates, investigations, images, sounds, and video as well. I'm going to add another quick pick template in. When I tap on that, another menu appears, and this shows a lot of the default quick picks that we have stored in the ALSI. As you can see, there's a number of names here. I'm going to pick on ST Elevation. Nothing seems to have happened, but if I scroll on the quick picks, you can see that ST Elevation has appeared as the bottommost quick pick. I want to move that around, so I tap on the arrows. And if I scroll down here, you can see that ST Elevation is down here. And if I drag on the hamburger icon on here and move this up, I can see I, I want to put it just after the start in and in between there and there. And now this has moved up. And we can also edit these, as we've seen before, by tapping and holding and altering the numbers that are on that quick pick. And we can keep on adding more and more of those. So we can add in a, um, a tachycardia and hypotension. And that appears at the bottom as well. And we can keep on building those up. Let's do something else. Let's add an investigation. When we tap on that, we can see there's a template of investigations here. I'm going to choose ABG. And you can see that the ABG quick pick has appeared. I tap on that, that shows a blood gas measurement. And if I tap on this share icon here, it now appears on the student screen. And I can exit that to come back. If I want to change the numbers on that, I tap and hold, and I go into an editing mode. So I can reduce the pH down for sake of argument. And I can reduce the bicarbonate as well. When I press done, you can see that those numbers have now changed. Let's tap on the plus icon again. And now let's go to Add Image Gallery. I'm going to call this Image and press OK. And now you can see another menu appears. And this is the camera roll that's actually on your iPad with any images that you have stored there. I'm going to scroll through this and pick up that chest x-ray that we've got there. And now you can see that's added to the bottom as image, one image. Let's add another. And I'm going to add it to that same gallery. I could choose another image gallery, but I'm going to add it to the same one. So add image to gallery. That's the image gallery that we have. And you may have seen down there we've got an ECG trace. So I'm going to add that as well. So now we have two images in this quick pick. When I tap on that, you can see that the chest x-ray appears. And if I flick to one side, you can see that the ECG appears. To show this on the student screen, you press the share icon again. And when I flick over to the ECG, I press the share icon once more. And that's what the student screen will actually see. And they can zoom in and out. I'm going to press the X to exit. Let's add video. So we tap on this. Let's create new video. I'm going to call it video and press OK. And there's only one video I've got there in my camera roll, so I'm going to select that. If I tap on this, you can see it doesn't play at the moment. I can press the play button here, or I could press the share icon. And you can see it starts playing an echo on the student screen as well. Press exit to clear. Let's add a sound. So add sound. And this goes into the sound menu. And we can choose any sound here that we want. So I'm going to choose this one. And when we tap on that quick pick, I feel short of breath. you can hear that sound being said. 
Now what I can do once I've added all those quick picks, of course I can reorder them as we've, as we've seen before by pressing on the up and down arrow, having a look at which quick pick we want to move, and then moving them up and down through the scenario. And that's how you can really get into scenario creation with images, videos, investigations, sounds, and adding more quick, quick picks to an, an already created s scenario.